Hey, what's up guys? It's BMT115 here, and I'm finally back to bring you my latest review on Nightmare on Elm Street Part 1, Freddy Krueger's Glove. Now, this glove was made by Trick or Treat Studios. I just got it in the mail earlier today, and I've unboxed it already so that I can get, you know, kind of break it in a little bit so I can show you guys its full mobility and do a decent review showing how well you can wear the glove, whether I think you should or should not. So let's start off with the actual glove itself. Now, when I opened this thing and took it right out of the packaging, I was blown away. Trigger Tree Studios, and um, I don't remember the company they partnered with. It doesn't say on the tag or anything who uh, built the glove. Uh, it'll say so on the um, on the website. But I got this in pre-ordered, and the detail on this thing is amazing. And it's very heavy. It's about three pounds for just the glove. Uh, you can actually hear how heavy and weighty it is, being that it's made out of copper and whatnot. So it's very, you know, you know, uh, legit, I should say. Um, the weld marks and whatnot are very uh, well done on there. They don't feel like they've been painted on. They legit feel like they intentionally burn the metal to make it look like a weld. Um, in little details such as the iconic broken blade on the pointer finger and whatnot. Um, First impressions, I give it a 9, 10 out of 10. I freaking love this thing for it being just a prop replica that you can get, consumer brand. It is amazing. The glove itself is pretty well made. It's a nice, good, decently, you know, thick leather. Um, it's an actual leather glove. They actually riveted the metal where it needs to be riveted to the glove in certain places. Um, it fits snug, so I'm going to put it on right now. So the only thing I would say is I wish that the wrist was a little bit tighter because it's not, I feel like it would just be a lot stronger on the hand if it was a little bit tighter, but you just got to hold it delicately and slide your hand in. got to make sure you hook your fingers into these little uh, straps and whatnot, little pieces of leather exposed, and then make sure all your fingers and the whole glove is pushed up tight, thumbs in there tight, everything is fastened, make sure your fingers aren't pulling the leather too much, but to where they're tight enough in there. And of course you can adjust the little strap right here. Uh, that's a good detail that they actually include the strap with the little bead and whatnot and everything in there. You can just tuck it underneath the copper plate. But this is the glove in action. So. Um, one thing I would say to note for is that the pinky finger is really loose. Um, like, I'm just going to barely, and this is, like, it's, as you can see, it's just really loose, and this uh, ring piece is just a little, a little too loose for my liking, but, I mean, if you look at the glove, I'm sure it's the same, same exact thing, but, um, honestly, I'd rather, I like the way the two first fingers sit, because they're, loose enough to move but they're not tight enough to where they're stiff uh, i will admit um it was difficult bending the fingers you can kind of see it now how they they kind of get stuck if you bend them too much but you shouldn't really be bending them all that much and it's nothing that you can't manage if you want to do this for like a cosplay or whatever um but yeah overall craftsmanship i think this is really good for $200, this is a really well-made prop. Um, it's not, it doesn't feel cheap. I've seen a lot of other Nightmare gloves and they are terrible. The glove is like a lightish tan. It's not the right color at all. It's like cheap canvas material. Um, the actual metal plating on the glove isn't strong metal at all. This actually feels durable. So if you do want to do cosplay with this, you can. And for any of you classic Nightmare 1 Freddy fans like myself, you can always do a lot of Robert England's iconic moves, you know. Do the, uh, you know, the little finger pose and stuff. Um, what else? What else? Uh, the coloring on the glove, very well done. Let me turn on the light a little bit 
brighter so you can possibly see how they have the red copper tones in there very nice very reflective as they should be and then you know the copper finger parts right here very um, burnt you know matte color all of the riveting is loose enough to where you can move your fingers quite comfortably and they bend enough so that you can get a good range of motion but this is more like something you know you can you can kind of keep it I personally like to keep it like this so that you got all four blades just sort of chilling like this or maybe do like that with the pointer finger and just kind of leave it like that um, I would recommend however to keep this on a stand like a hand a frozen handstand um, I wouldn't just wear this willy-nilly all the time because it is a is a replica it's not intended you know to be used heavy duty for uh, cosplay and the like this is mostly a display piece but it's one you can actually wear if you desire which I appreciate um, everything about this is sorry guys a bug just fell on me okay maybe Freddy's breaking through the other one I got bugs falling on me and shit but yeah um, overall I give it mm, 9 out of 10. The only thing I will say I was a little disappointed in seeing is like right here on the back plate, this weathering around these um, rivets doesn't look the best. Like if you just cover that up and look at the rest of the glove, everything about it looks great. Um, all the weathering is done pretty well for a consumer brand, you know, stage replica like this. I would say this looks amazing. It's just when you get to this back plate, all of this looks great, but around the rivets, you can see it kind of looks like they just painted it on with a brush. I'm not sure. I'm going to have to go look at some screenshots to see how accurate that is. But um, the only other thing I would kind of detract points for it is some of the holes in the fingers are really long. For instance, these two holes, I don't know why they're so long, but it seems almost as if this was supposed to connect and it just doesn't. I don't know if that's intended or not, but overall, those are my only two nitpicks, I would say. But if, if you're a hardcore Freddy Krueger fan, Nightmare fan, and you don't own a glove or can't find one that you trust, I would say go with Trick or Treat Studios version because I heard people talk about NECA's and NECA has its own issues with their glove. I feel like NECA has extra points because of the fact that it came with a display base for the glove however I have seen that it's not heavy enough to sustain a glove like Freddy's because of the fact that it's not a heavy hand it's sort of like a cheaper plastic hand it's not wooden or anything that could actually sustain three pounds of weight vertical weight because I feel like the only way you can really display this is get the fingers in the tight little uh, crooks that you can and sort of let them relax like this if you can get the pinky finger to do that see it's kind of loose Probably might, we might have to do a little bit of modification tighten this uh, piece right here but other than that the thing is amazing I just love it and you can see all the burn marks on the actual blades let me kind of get a good angle on this you can see all the burn marks on the blades right here and right there very well done so I think they really did try I do feel like they put a lot of effort into this glove I'm glad they did and I'm happy I have it um, you might be able to do a little bit more modification on this uh, this piece right here for the wrist way too loose in my opinion I would have maybe tightened it to about there so maybe like a finger pinch length or width but other than that Go out and get one of these because I feel like they're going to sell out quick and they're gonna, it's going to be a few months before they make more because I got this because I pre-ordered it and I've never had anything that was quality Nightmare on Elm Street material and this is quality. Like From what I do know about who made it, um, the people that did make it do make Freddy gloves that are custom. Uh, you can order from their website, I believe. They have their own company that exclusively does Freddy gloves. Kind of like how they do uh, Michael Myers mask overhauls, repaints, whatever you want. With consumer brand masks, they'll do it with Freddy gloves. And you can go to a con or a horror fest and wear this. And people are going to be like, 
whoa, that's actually Freddy's glove. Like, it's not some cheap plastic piece of crap that you get from, like, Ruby's costume. You know, just something with, like, a little piece of fabric and some plastic mold that they just slammed together. This is... legit, like, Freddy Krueger met Like, this is, meta like, real metal, real leather, and I feel like any weathering or damage this thing sustains, probably from its own movement, just enhances the glove, because, you know, Fred made this in a freaking boiler room out of random pieces of metal, and this legit looks like something some sadistic psychopath would make in a boiler room in 1980s you know, to freaking torture people with. Like, this is too insane that I'm actually holding something that looks straight out of the film. So, I'm really happy with it. I'd recommend it. 9 out of 10 for me. So, this is going to go right alongside my Michael Myers mask from Trick or Treat Studios. I managed to get a really good one. If you haven't seen that review, go check it out. It's in the playlist. I haven't done Leatherface's mask. Um, from what I've seen, they aren't making that one anymore. The original 1978 mask, I managed to get one before they sold out. I really love that mask because of the detail. But this is going to go right alongside my Ghostface knife. I actually have Ghostface's actual Buck 120 hunting knife, so this is going to go right alongside. I might actually position this so that it looks like it's got the uh, the claws gripping the uh, the bookcase so I might do something crazy like that but anyway that's my review of Freddy's Nightmare 1 glove from Trick or Treat Studios I hope you guys enjoyed it and if you didn't I'll see you in your dreams ah! <laughs>